Well, hello again. I am Chanakya Shukla, and I welcome you back to my YouTube channel. And uh, this is my new background in the behind. And uh, what we are going to do today? Well, not let's talk about music. How about I uh, tell you how to record an audio book? Yeah, reading is a very difficult habit to have, and it's a good habit. Most of the time, we overread, but when we read, we actually consume the data from the writer. आज एनर्जी बिल्कुल लो है कितना मुश्किल काम है नहीं रिकॉर्ड करना टेक अ डीप ब्रेथ so uh, let me do one thing what i did i made some tea for myself it's a very good thing to have some hot water and you are reading this very boring thing writing is even boring there are only only few people who like to read and write it's a matter of taste and i would suggest you should develop your taste by the way we have a very good topic to discuss in today's video session online session very interesting topic few months back i have written very good things i had i used to have random thoughts in my mind so what i did i wrote it down with a pen and paper and then what happened i thought i should uh, type it so i typed it i wrote it on my blog yeah i used to write google blogs but uh, i thought not everybody reads it if i told you a know, few people they like to read so sorry about the book but uh, then what i thought some people like to listen like a recorded lecture and nowadays many lectures are working that way there are ebooks and there are audio books also this is the next generation uh, way of learning when we used to learn we used to read and read the physical books and write on physical notebooks like with a physical pen on a paper now we are saving trees that's a very good initiative towards the 
uh, environment towards the ecology. <laughs> I can see a tree in my background. Uh, in India, most of the people are suffering from the oxygen problem. That is something else, but generally population with the increase in population and increment in the demand of the, the timber, they're cutting trees just to acquire lands and so many other reasons. That's, that is taking us nowhere. I understand that few people, not everybody, since ever, since ever I know, it's a fact that the proportion between the educated people and illiterate people is always, literate people were always less. There were all, always less people who were, who channelized their energies towards the literature, towards the study. They were living, they were coexisting with other people. But they thought that what we should do is these are basic food, shelter, clothes. And yeah. So other than that, there were only few people who were the scholars, who were the researchers. And I truly believe that few physical scientists and social scientists also, they appreciate this thought of ecology, the environment friendly steps that we have taken nowadays to move towards the digital era and reduce the, we cannot eliminate, but reduce the use of the paper because paper, if you know physics, if you know, sorry, not physics, physical science, then you know biology and then you know how, and then you know botany also. And then you know how paper is made from the tree. Paper comes from the tree. Trees, so you, obviously you have to cut trees to get papers. And paper is used everywhere, you know. So it's a, it's a revolution. Revolution just don't come like a snap. It's, it's not like that. Revolution takes, takes some time. It take and it takes people. It takes some time for people to adopt to the revolution. You cannot just eliminate one thought, uh, people with one uh, mentality and one thought, and just start with fresh. It never happens. It's always a transition, and transition is difficult to accept. I'm feeling very low. I'm sorry about that, but. Uh, yeah, this transition is happening right now and we are part of it. There's, um, do you be sad about it or happy about it? But uh, we have been taught on pens and papers and now everything is going digital. So it will, it will be a little pain. You have to change your habits and uh, I, I think very soon it will become a, a, a comfort. A, what would say? I, I'm not getting the correct word to define the benefits. Of, there, there are multiple benefits of digitalization of, and uh, you you must you can you can discuss it on the comments. Yeah. You, you, I'm leaving on that up to you to share some good thoughts about how, what you think about it. So it may not just remain a one-way communication. You give your suggestion, but uh, provided there are some some good suggestions. Huh? So earlier there used to be a conflict between physical and social scientists, but that we we very much we cleared that while att attending lectures together with social scientists. We used to think, we are studying science, so 
we we are like we are going to be scientists someday or if we are doing research so this science 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 and something else but there's something as social science also and then there are social scientists also and i'm sure most of the people who are watching this uh, video they will agree that uh, it's not a new concept is the matter of fact we are not aware of it and and uh, they have very good researches even this chipko andolan if you have heard of it chipko andolan in uttarakhand where the people they hugged the tree to avoid the deforestation and it was a great success and it is articulated in a thesis in a paper by some social scientist not a physical scientist physical scientist is something something that we read on physical physics books and chemistry biology botany and then sub branches of all these electronics and hmm, too much of theory but uh, i want to uh, what i want to share in this video that how you can record your audio book now most of the people have mobile phones and they are very much capable of recording their voices they can make videos very uh, very easily it is very user friendly but where is the quality of content what they are going to record what they are going to convey first you get content you read books you read research you read research papers you read you uh, talk to people who are researchers it should not be like hi hello bye this is these are formal talks but when you talk to them about their experiences their research then you are going to get what what they have experienced and what they have to say about the same world we are living we are coexisting right so uh just pardon me if i am taking too long to start with the video but you have to bear with me man first of all survival uh, i want to live to give you that gyan give you that information why i am trying to be so accurate with english because uh, my youtube channel it started detecting my english with the automatic bot and i uh, want it to detect well for for the captions that automatic caption so that when you click that cc button down, down there so it will it will automatically type whatever i am saying that's miraculous that is artificial intelligence that is a part of software part of computer science and that is miraculous it is not perfect it, it is just like machine there's one incident i want to share incident of a ola driver or i guess he was an uber driver so what he did we me and my mother we went to some place and uh, it was like a, we we were we went out to visit some atm and because in india and uh, be it delhi or the city there is a problem that uh, not all atm machines they work they are quite old and some most of the time they are out of service honestly speaking most of the people have faced this problem so there was one machine which i knew that it is newly installed and it will work all the pain we have to take is that we have to travel that much to get our job done so what we did we hired a taxi nowadays i believe in reducing the carbon footprint so i uh, though i own a car and it is also on uh, cng it is a hybrid not that hybrid but uh, dual fuel whatever you can say it runs on clean fuel that is compressed natural gas but uh, i i prefer not to drive it all the time and uh, hire a taxi and uh, i think it, it is my contribution to the ecology just my uh, though uh, i do want to like uh, 
I think it's a it's a it's a good way to contribute taxi so and and o- ola and uber is considered very reliable uh, taxi services so what we did we traveled there and i asked the person that he can wait so that we, because so it was quite late in the night and uh, nearby it was not quite safe so that i could sense it because people are mostly drunk by the evening so what we did uh, i i asked my mother to stay in the cab and i go uh, i went to the atm and i came back and i came back and then my mother said that i asked this person that if he can uh, drop us back so she there is an option in the application that you can choose the return whenever you want because you are the customer you are the god for the company right so she opted for that and that person he was like and most of the people do that i don't know why they do that he was like ki uh, it is not updated in my phone and i won't move a step maine kaha i told him man listen i live in delhi since my birth and i know how it is in the evening and i know every like which places where i lived here i grew up here and everything you can think of and even so is my mother she is born in delhi and so don't be just ki what is safe and not you just try try to cooperate and uh, just just keep moving because it is late there's no point of discussing it this late right and uh, he he st- stopped somewhere near around the police station i was like oh, okay that's okay that that police station was even close to my university and i went there because i knew i used to keep on visiting that uh, atm that uh, atm is a, it's a money vending machine if you guys know already anyways so what happened and uh, then he keep kept on talking and i was sure that he was into uh, he was interested in to uh, get the cash money from us and he he was he was trying to be very smart like uh, when he will end the uh, that right so digital money which is already prepaid from our side it will also get transferred into his account and uh, the cash money which we are going to give him he is also going to keep it and he, people they themselves think themselves over smart and other are fools it is frustrating sometimes because uh, there's no point of fighting but it should not be like this man i live here and i i want i don't want this this to be my city i never dreamed of my city like this anyways well it was a serious matter she was not my girlfriend and uh, or anybody else she was my mother my real biological mother so uh, if it 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 could go anywhere i could even slap him and take his car and went to my home i could go to any extent uh, for his uh, misbehavior but i didn't do i told him brother i take care of you if anything happens to you i'll take care of you i will drive you will uh, you can sit beside me and you don't have to worry about the late thing or whatever is happening and i will tell you the technical issue later on first of all your priority should be that you should uh, you should uh, you should do your service first take the passengers back to their this uh, destination and we can li- discuss the money thing and software thing later on because we have we've shown him in our uh, cell phone that the driver is already uh, on for the return trip but they are mostly they are less educated and i don't know willingly or non willingly 
why they act like that, that they don't understand technology, but don't do that, man. They must be very rich. They must have many cars. You know, they, they, some, some people, I, I, I used to talk to, to the people and they talked like that, that we are not, we are no poor. We own this car. We are very rich. Well, that's cool for me. Right now you are doing something for the service. Huh? So, so do your service. And, uh, anyways, and uh, we, I kept on talking. I mean, I was, I was, I became his Google navigation. I was giving him uh, step by step navigation to my home return, return to my home. And uh, when we stepped to our home, he was like, I, I, I knew already that he's going to be sorry. He will tell me sorry, but there's no point of telling me sorry after the damage that has happened right and i made sure that there should not be any damage anybody would do that i i think so what happened then uh, he he stopped his car and we reached i told my mother just you just go to the home okay and i'll talk to the person and i i told him just restart your mobile phone and he did that and he said ha huh, so I told him I tried to make him understand without going any ang angry on him or something like that there's no point he must be more angry than me huh? but uh, that's not the point you don't loot your customers that's not you do if you want to keep on doing something for long you don't do that you build a relation and that's how this star rating and everything comes in place and that's what is it means so what he did he was telling he's a local or something man, man you're roaming around in my local area what are you telling and whom you are telling huh? you want me to talk that way I'm, just, I'm also adopting to this system. No? I'm not also habitual of, I have my own car. I'm, my point of hiring a car is something way beyond your thinking. I'm just uh, trying to contribute to the ecology, to the uh, environment, to reduce the carbon footprint. He won't understand it in, in a single trip. But uh, then I told him that sometimes you, you are a driver, right? So sometimes what happens, you are driving your car and it it may fail sometime. Your, your car can break down anytime. Like you can get a puncture or maybe some leaking of coolant and there are 100 problems that can happen to a car. So it's not the manufacturer's problem. It's not anybody's problem. Any driver knows that it's a machine and Manish, Manish, sorry, the machine, machine can, can fail because it's a machine. We say we are not computer, we are human, we make mistakes, but machines are made by humans and they fail most of the times. So we do multiple testings that uh, we tested this product thousands time, thousands of times and it did not fail. And that's how we guarantee it, that it will not fail. That's how technology works. So. Uh, I guess you, you're not going to try all those thousand, uh, thousand various situations to fail the technology which is provided to you. Anyways, so he got my point that uh, even the software, the computer, it is also a machine and it can fail sometimes. Though it did not fail, he was trying to be smart and I very much understood it. So there's no point of this empathy to these people, man. They're not poor. Just, they look poor. <laughs> They're not. And I look rich, but I don't want to share my bank balance with you. That, what is the inside story? Anyways. 
So that was a very, very strange story. That night I ordered some food from outside and uh, that's it. I could not even discuss it with my mother properly that what what we are left with. That this is the society we were building. That this is the state we dreamed of. And this is the world we were Dream, we dreamed of that it will be someday. I'm not against cash, man. It is uh, printed by the Reserve Bank of India. It is a big bank and it's a larger authority. And even they are also these days, they are appreciating uh, digital online payments. So I'm not alone. I'm just with them. And uh, what it does, it uh, it monitor, it keeps things de uh, decentralized, so that you can monitor every transaction for what one is being paid, when he was paid, right? So. <laughs> Sometimes it is very sad that what they want us to become. He thinks I'm rich. It's just not like that, bro. You, you yourself bragged about yourself that you own so many cars, but I drive car uh, this just for fun. Uh, I know what's your fun. Anyways, my point was digital payments and digitalization and how it helps and uh, how it is it is being accepted and, and people are getting greedy about it. Like uh, they don't, uh, uh, otherwise, you know, it, when it was a time of physical money, people were greedy. They find some cash somewhere, they, they, they can snatch it from your pocket. They see it somewhere. So it, it, I, I think this psychology is also is evolving. That uh, even nowadays, the winning prize, he also, uh, Mr. Amitabh Bachchan, sir, he also uh, sends the money through digital payments. What else you want? And you mimic Amitabh Bachchan, you um, make him role models and make him good, uh, follow him. In the correct way, no? You just want to be Sharabi. Chota Mubadi Ba. Anyways, so uh, that was one incident that happened with me and I shared with you guys and it, it, it happened many uh, few months ago. And it was there with me and my mother said that don't share it with anyone and social media is all like that they are just going to make fun or something but you should speak up it can happen with anyone you know we very much rely these days on these services we think this is the future but is this the future making profit out of someone's terrible situation, that is unethical, that is wrong on all levels. And then people are angry, everybody is angry, you know? There's no point. And we expect when they will understand the importance of ecology, importance of growing trees, the importance of not cutting them. And it was our ancestors only who did that uh, Chipko Andolan, if you remember. What we are doing. I just want 
for everyone even uh, worldwide our, our ancestors some say they were bad they were orthodox but they did some some brilliant researches which are helpful these days and yeah they failed when you experiment some experiment for something you 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 fail several times yeah then after so many failed experiments you get one stable prototype yeah this is stable this will work in certain circumstances then you make it public then you make it commercial then that's how it works so man just cooperate with the change that's what i would say oh, steam is really helping Shall we start? Hmm? I don't know why I take such things so seriously. But yeah, I studied in my middle studies, man. it was a it was a game changer for me i i think our, my perspective for everything changed after that after that you get that holistic approach the global approach not just uh, that flat earthers thinking that whatever it is it is here whatever we heard about that if we are not going to take certain steps the ecology is going to it is happening it is happening deforestation resulting into in the mountain areas they are nowadays it is trending save uttarakhand and uh, earlier in the research papers we read about it that people are cutting industrialization is there and they are cutting the trees should not be trees are not decoration <laughs> it's such a stupidity if i'm explaining but uh, i i you know one very good thing uh, which i learned uh, while i was studying ecology that everybody's responsibility is no one's responsibility and what do you think that everybody knows no one knows that it is not known to everyone who does not know this you say it like this nobody knows what do you think this is very common everybody knows no so trees are not they are not decoration pieces trees are living beings and they are living on this earth much before the human life much before the other existing lives on earth even in the sea under the sea there are some uh, aquatic plants they are they're not trees but they are plants the plants and trees they and they they cannot move we are moving from here to there and we are complaining that tree is coming on my way stupid i'm gone and tree is not like that that uh, you can do something to grow it fast it grows naturally like there is a there is a clock it's a gmt and ist that if you if you know the how clock works and this is the natural clock the tree that grows sometimes it it it, it sheds all of its leaves and then again <laughs> all the leaves they grow again we we are losing that patience to 
see this change that's what is happening that's that's not something good we are going to see on social media these days i would i would suggest you cannot if you cannot grow trees so at least uh, don't don't go for that business thing that uh, now this rich people are interested in buying some plants and something well well everything is commercialized but i would suggest you somewhere contribute be it commercialized not commercialized but contribute to ecology grow plants and uh, wherever you find some land just grow some plants you will know and compare your personal growth with that tree that growth not with the time not with the calendar not with this any ancient and modern calendar compare your growth with that that plant that it is growing i am also growing very big thing thought it just came into my mind but it is true and it is dedicated to all the millennials like me they are very impatient man make friends with trees and tree it's a house for so many uh, other creatures also you know squirrels you know i i know some some people uh, they they don't consider squirrels good because they uh, they harm your stuff like rats some people call them tree rats but uh, they are beautiful creatures man i have a garden and there are squirrels and sometimes i miss them ki uh, they have not wake up it's morning and, and when i hear them doing that chirping sound chir 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 and it's really beautiful Hmm. One very good suggestion I have given that grow a tree and uh, and nurture it. You have to water it, and you will learn somewhere else. I have no specialization in uh, growing trees and agriculture or something, but uh, it teaches you patience. and there's no harm and they are not decoration pieces that it is not feeling appealing to my eyes <laughs> i think it's one another very very stupid incident with you guys that once i went to mumbai in a some seashore and there was one uh, one paji he was shooting on his mobile phone the real uh, on the on the beach he was shooting it and there were high tides those who live near the coastal areas and in mumbai they know what are high tides and low tides and it it actually changes very miraculously sometimes the waves are very close to the shore sometimes it is very far to the shore and he, i don't know some people how they think how that happens but there are some scientific and other reasons behind to understand it how that happens anyways so he was what he said i heard that it, it is looking as real as a screen wallpaper i mean he was comparing that real scene with uh, this recorded uh, if most of you know this is a this is not real this is just a, a video recorded in a in a gif format or something and it is on loop it is not real but that but he was he was not enjoying what he was seeing with his naked eyes he was comparing comparing it with the with some wallpaper oh man come on that's not how you take technology you don't have to record everything who who you are going to show that i was here that's not how you use social media Oh. well i am no one to tell you but that's how we have become that i observed and i'm sharing with you i'm a good observer when i write or 
saying that art i'm an artist so i observe my surroundings to convey through my art that's what i do so i observe that and no one to tell anybody what they should do or not but i i literally feel what what's where we are going at that was really funny and he was not a young kid he was m- m- much elder than me <laughs> i guess he he came to some sea show for the first time and he he was he felt like that it is it is something like a, it is a movie set it's a sea it is a sea sea is a that 97% of the world is water that that part the saline water the salty water but we are not aquatic animals we won't talk about it much let's come back to the land <laughs> let's start from here let me make one more tea ready because i keep on sipping it and start explaining it whatever i'm going to do i don't think i should follow any proper format any popular format that your attention span is short then it is your problem right not mine you were in a hurry why i told you turn some patience not from the this digital clock or some analog clock turn from this natural clock go plants and trees it's a best way to learn patience i think because dogs you keep dogs with you what do you learn from them you learn from them something that you they live for very short life you know just 10 to 15 years and then they die so you learn them that this is one life you know that's okay but that you only learn from the dog what there are many other creatures and other living things non living things you can learn so many things from them what do you learn from them Mm. So let's start something else. What I'm going to do, I'm going to now talk about something which I really thought for a longer time. It it stayed in my mind for a very long time, and I was very confused to how to express my thing, how to express what I'm feeling. So it's a kind of a very not yet very proven thing and uh, just you know when you make that tree i'm to- i was talking about physical science social science there's in science also the physical and social science are natural science they are sub category of natural science this one more category category parallel to the natural science the supernatural science i don't want to get too much into it because it is very uh, very much you no know, uh, very prone to go towards the superstition but science we are talking about science science means whatever i'm going to do here on earth on my geographical location anywhere on the universe if i create similar uh surroundings and similar so similar results will occur you know that's what science is about so whatever i am doing if you are doing to do the same thing so same results we will see you know in chemistry lab we do that uh, salt analysis by burette pipette so if we will add this much amount of salt in it and we will then we can calculate that this is the parts per million uh, amount of salt in the liquid and that's how if uh, 
we do we do the experiment multiple times and then we plot the graph and when uh, most of the times you get the same results that is science otherwise it is a superstition but i believe so you believe so good for you you can believe anything you can make make others believe anything and when i was talking about that very few people are literate i think very few people believe in science and most of the people they believe in something obviously life does not goes like that even non uh, other other creatures on the earth they also believe something uh, they have some beliefs based on their experiences what they have experienced in their life they are the result of their surroundings and that's what is being studied in social science also so social scientists what they do they they uh, they also how they are considered as scientists because with people also if similar circumstances will uh, will be there so same results will occur like in uh, dictatorship it was it it used to be practiced in some part of the world and if you are again doing going to do the that you give all the power to one person so you saw the result it led to something it is not superstition it's not a mythological story that uh, world war 2 when everything that happened i hope most of the people understand it's not a superstition it actually happened and uh, war is a not good thing to happen so what we should learn from these past things and social scientists what they did they articulated all these things that it should not happen again that's why they have written their research papers and most of you you should read it because they have published it for general public to understand and english you can read understand or you can translate it social scientists they they write it in very quite different language it will be a little pain for you but but discuss it with someone who is already studying just like me who is not a, an expert of social science so it will be helpful i think so i believe in science i and uh, how i am going to make you believe something until unless it is not science right you said ki it happened something else happened with me i must have some scientific explanation to give it to you but uh, most of the time you don't have it because we we it is science and uh, we are not ready to expand the the uh, true potential of science social is also science social scientists are also scientists like physical scientists scientist is not like that he is carrying a beaker and uh, <laughs> test tube and he is doing some experiment and uh, that his scientists no he is not just scientist there other uh, various fields of science also anyways i guess you get it so what i did i articulated something about sixth sense you know most of the people they talk about it but uh, it mostly it goes towards the superstition that i am getting some sense sixth sense and everybody is talking about sixth sense and uh, then i thought what it would be so i what i did i did not make any patent or something or i don't know how to make sure that this i have thought this thing this is my intellectual property and uh, i just wanted it uh, that's one thing that i want it to reach out to the people but firstly i also want it that i have thought it i want my credit for that right and i can think beyond the entertainment uh, so that is what i did so i i got my stuff copyrighted 
in a literary dramatic format but uh, i'm looking more ways to prove my point i want more discussion to happen on this topic okay so i'm going to make a separate video of whatever i have recorded like an audio book for that article but what uh, we are going to learn in this video that how to record an audio book first because nowadays most of the people are at their home to utilize this period the best way that you can so if you are reading some books so you can share your experiences share your thoughts in your way and you will also develop your way i'm telling you about uh, not using slangs use some good vocabulary you will improve your vocabulary also hmm? <sighs> sorry for the burp again so uh shall we begin what i'm going to do again for let's start to share the screen so this is what i have written and this is what i'm going to read for all of you and uh, it is not too long it is short and precise but i just said what i wanted to say in short so most of the people who are not related to physical science they might think ki are kya science aata but um, i think everyone should know science otherwise it is superstitions and superstition leads you nowhere i'm sure even if it is ayurveda even if it is some ancient study so just work enough to articulate it and present it in a way that it can be accepted so what i did i wrote it so some some in a literary uh, and dramatic format so some may think it is just a fiction or whatever it is but i just articulated it that is the best way i could find it and uh, i got it copyrighted i will show you this is the document i got in return from the copyright office what is sixth sense see so that's how they send it in a digital way with a qr code with a digital stamp and the digital signature of the deputy register of copyright and it it is that means uh, i don't think it is just read by computers there there must be some some can he is sign doing the signature to some intellectual person must have gone through my article and i would appreciate if he has appreciated what i have written but uh, now what i'm going to do i'm going to read it out there are several apps but we are not going to use it we are not using it there are so many options are on your smartphone but we don't use all of them right we just use few options which are entertaining for us but entertainment is just one one part of the what you can have on in, in, internet so utilize it well when i said it is a revolution then just contribute to revolution cooperate with the revolution see now this this copyright thing it is having it see and there was no i would like to tell you this the that uh, no mediocre no broker i had to face while submitting my submission and that's a i would like to applause for this that the good initiative taken by the ministry and the government that no broker i had to face to submit my work to the office and uh, i got my work done it is very much original you know now uh, i i know where i have written the that that copy which i have on which i have written this 
it had some some uh, some grammatical error which i corrected while i was typing it but uh, yeah it is my original work obviously that's how it it got registered man uh, so coming to the content right content is what is sixth sense although i have also written about five senses which you already know that what are five senses you know you know what are five senses i shared it with my brother and he he told me that it is very elementary kind of uh, elementary schooling kind of uh, blog with, uh, which you have written on five senses yeah it is but uh, whenever you fall you fall to basics right you should always know if i will fall where i will fall so these are five senses we should be thankful if all the viewers if they are reading it listening it and watching this video that uh, if their five senses are working they are very much blessed you know? well let's not talk about five senses let's jump to the more interesting topic which is the sixth sense and i'm going to uh read this thing i have already written it i'm going to read this as an audio book and i'm going to tell you how to record an audio book audio book and since if you don't know i would like to tell you already that when uh like like this is a book this book writing better lyrics it is by pat patterson okay and i cannot read from this and upload it on youtube they're going to be later or sooner if they'll get to know that i'm doing this it is unethical it can be a punishable offense i'm sure because i'm using somebody's others intellectual property and uh, delivering it in my work so it will be it it won't be a legal thing to do i think though they they are from usa so uh, it, it does not mean that i can uh, infringe the copyright somebody else copyright it is it, it takes it takes balls man to write a book trust me so keeping that respect that mutual respect for some author what i would i'm going to do i'm going to read my original stuff only in this book to show you how without any infringement to copyright how you can create an audio book and that content we can talk about it later it's a it's a long story we can discuss we can write an entire book on success that you know we can make a hollywood movie bollywood movie on our success it can can be as big as you can think but think in that way think in a scientific manner so others can relate to it and contribute to it if you will make it like a so uh, what is superstition okay then uh, nobody is going to take interest it's not entertainment i find it personally i find it very interesting oh what happened yeah so uh what i told you when don't use logic okay because it is already some it, it is quite expensive software to buy and i understand that not everybody can buy logic even if they have they they saved enough money to buy a mac which is already very expensive uh, computer to own but what they do when you are spending that much amount of money to buy a mac computer they are providing you some some softwares which are very useful and quite stable that i think 
So let's again try recording your vocals on GarageBand, which is free, free of cost, right? We have discussed in our earlier videos. See, it is our previous project and my voice is echoing. <laughs> Let's start with a fresh new project and we don't have to mess up with the tempo and keys and time signature because we are going to just simply talk. We are going to record our vocals without any, we are not doing any rap so we don't need tempo. We are not going to sing a song so we don't need key signature or time signature. We all we need to check that input device is correct and output device is correct. Since I'm using this uh, Scarlett to record my vocal through the microphone. This is a dynamic microphone, now you can see it. And uh, I'm going to choose it. We're going to choose the audio. And I want to hear my instrument as it plays because I want the real time uh, monitoring. So I will click on here. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch off the monitoring from the um, audio interface because it is giving me a flanger kind of a effect which is not pleasant to listen so now whatever i'm listening it is the monitoring from these this door you know it is called a door digital audio workstation so it is not music workstation it is audio workstation so audio can be anything you can record any audio correct so if we are going to use it for uh, uh, recording an audiobook, then it is no harm, I think. Right. So all what we need, we not need, we don't need this click. So there's a shortcut key. It is already telling us that click K. Let's do that. And we don't need metronome. We don't need this tempo to be uh, clicked while we are recording. So we are going to record it without any compression or anything. We are going to record it as flat as we can. Later on, we are going to do that modification in the post-production. We call it post-production, whatever we are going to tweak with our, uh, with our audio. That is called post-production. So first of all, we have to check the levels. Because why I am in, uh, in giving some emphasis on levels because earlier this YouTube audio detector, it was take, uh, recording my vocal as labels. I'm not, I don't mean labels. Maybe it's a problem of my Indian accent or something, but it is levels. I don't know how it will catch correctly. L-E-V-E-L-S, levels. Levels, I mean to say the gain, the input from my microphone to the door that I can always uh, control from the knobs on my audio interface. So I'm reducing it till I find no these, uh, this level. So what I'll do, I, I won't speak a word and let's see where this level goes. See, it is without when i'm not talking still it is rising right that is obviously if you can hear it it is because of my ac so i'll turn it off see Though I'm recording it on uh, the Zoom and it has a limiter, uh, uh, what we call it, it's not limiter. It is a kind of a noise gating. Yeah. So whenever there is no or less voice, whenever I'm not speaking, it eliminates the noise, uh, the audio signals, the weaker signals automatically. So it is very much um, modified uh, software. It is working very well, but you have to understand the basics first. To know what is what 
the software is you know it's a machine and you know where it can where it is performing well and where you should know its limitations and pros and cons obviously since you are going to use it so user should know some elementary level understanding of the software right i'm going to reduce it a more bit a little bit more so what i do mostly when i record it i instead of 0 decibel i increase it to the full potential see still we are getting so i will reduce it more now this noise is coming from the fridge on in the other room the refrigerator that i cannot help that it is the compressor from the refrigerator it's not the problem of the refrigerator it's the it's good quality of my mic that it is uh, receiving audio signals from that far see now it is quite better check i think this will work out hmm so now i will start recording it and we will read this if i will uh, do something like this a uh, and o so we will cut it down later on and if we uh, are going to keep it very natural then let it be hmm. let me take a sip and uh, let's see what we can do here start recording in 3 start the countdown every time i do that i get some anxiety i need to fight it now so anxiety is it's my own problem this not the problem it's not technical problem it's not somebody else problem it's like nobody is right now booing me or something it's it's my own problem i have to deal with it Three, two, one. Okay. Check. So, is it recording? I'll just check it if it is recording or not. Yes, it is recording. Okay. Then let us. record it again 3 2 1 go all right so let's uh in our yeah what is sixth sense we often talk about the sixth sense through smell sight touch taste and hearing are the only practical and significant senses known to science yet after many observations and calculations i concluded that the sixth sense is something we can feel but can't really tell others about it that's why so many people are talking about it but it is that difficult to understand because these five senses known to us have been working almost fine for myself at least since birth to observe the environment around so the sixth sense must show the same characteristics and should be related to something between my body and the environment around me i thought let's keep it simple though these known five senses are not as simple as we considering them here yeah. but let's assume to actually know what is the sixth sense actually 
maybe it is too existing to be noticed like air. So why sixth sense can't be gravity? And to be precise, it can't be gravity, which is g is equal to 9.8 meter per second square, but gravitational force, which is capital G, that is equal to 6.67430 raised to the power, 10 raised to the power minus 11 Newton meter per kilogram square. Gravity in physics is defined as the force of attraction applied to a freely falling object or body by the surface of the earth, which is 9.8 meter per second square, derived from the Newton's second law of motion. That is F is equal to MA, where F is equal to force, M is equal to mass of the body, and A is equal to acceleration. While gravitational force is the attractive force existing between any two bodies or objects in the universe that have mass located at any distance. In 1687, English mathematician Sir Isaac Newton published principle which hypothesis the inverse square law of universal gravitation. In his own words, I deducted that the forces which keep the planets in their orbit must be recipro reciprocally as the squares of their distances from the centers about which they revolve and thereby compared the force required to keep the moon in her orbit with the force of gravity at the surface of the earth and found them answer pretty nearly. The equation is the following. F is equal to G multiplied by M1 and M2 divided by R square. That is Newton's law of universal gravitation. Where F is the force, M and M2 are the masses of the objects interacting. R is the distance between the centers of the masses and G is the gravitational constant. Well, let's not get too much into the scientific details of this matter and talk more into layman's language. Here in the blog, for better understanding, if it turns out to be research, then I will publish it in a science forum with much more facts and formulas someday. But before that, let's first try to understand it in a general manner. The human body is indeed an intelligent design that is still evolving and adopting. An interesting fact is all other living beings do have access to these senses, but they can never talk about it. They can never write about it in any language or can educate other of their kind. They can just get affected by the environment and react accordingly while having these senses. I, for a very long period, used to call them the lower conscious beings. I wasn't wrong technically, but the changing times and extreme of human brutality in this, hu in this world changed my vision. And I noticed that animals are more in their senses than modern day humans. There comes a time in your life when you look at this natural world with no such man-made boundaries and you try to communicate with plants, fishes, birds, and animals. Trust me, it is a very stress-bursting exercise to do when you realize the existence of a parallel world apart from your personal relationships, monetary, and health issues. It's a huge and bigger world than actually we imagine. 
I won't say these man-made boundaries are purposeless. But talking of sixth sense, we often neglect it and forget the fact that we are on the earth. While often minor injuries caused by coming in contact with other existing objects or bodies keep us on the ground. And with galactic harmony of the universe, especially when our brain thinks too much or gets stuck somewhere, in a way, this sixth sense helps us survive just like the other five. By Chanakya Shukla. Ah, let's check how it got recorded. Yeah, it is pretty decent. Okay, we'll do what we'll do. You know what we have done before. We're going to select it. Now I will turn the monitor because I'm not going to listen. Check. Yeah. So we will also add some noise gating. No, it is not sounding good. So what I'm doing, I am Yeah, it is a very, very uh, good thing to EQ your vocal tracks equalize because the whatever mic has recorded it has some 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 graph already there's a there's a there's a uh, deceiving pattern of each mic and uh, it is not always flat as we want like uh, some digital thing but since we are tweaking it digitally so we need to eliminate some unwanted sound which we call noises so we will eliminate those noises and capture only the data we need the audio data we need so we will eliminate other noises so what we are there are some presets i'm just going by them to quickly do, uh, quickly do it Otherwise, you can spend some more time to uh, to to enrich your vocals. You work more, you tweak more. There's some good uh, audio engineers. They are very specifically they work on EQ. So it's a it's a vast. Even even these presets are. I'm I'm sure it is made by some some very good uh, audio engineers in, of the world. So we we can they are made for using so we should use it i guess so it, it is not a lead vocal it's not a something like song so let's try this if it's about voice over or no it's very noisy Or what I would say, just let's not equate it. It is it is quite. Highs, giving highs to your track is really good because most of the most 
mostly these days our content is being watched on mobile phones and mobile phone speakers they has a good tendency on highs rather than lows they don't have woofers or something so you don't get lows so you have to you have to give rise to highs i'm giving a brief uh, idea of how equalization works though it, it's a very tough job to do not tough job it's a very very uh, it's a, it has a lot of scope that you can work on eqing most of the uh, musical tracks they sound really good because of the good equalization so here i'm not using presets now see i'm not using presets i'm just turning it off no i don't want it yeah i'm doing it manually see when you click on this analyzer it will show you that what are the audio signals you are getting so you can eliminate which is not required like this uh, audio signals below the um, 100 hertz to 20 hertz i guess most of you people know that what is the human ear capacity of listening it is from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz right so we eliminate the these lows we don't need that and even some highs also they will add up to noises only so we don't need that very good it's just sounding really good i am able to do it really fast because of little experience that i have gained so far of uh, listening i i have developed this this i i i have trained my ears over years so there's no age of when you can say that i have learned it all you can always keep on evol evolving uh, previously when people used to listen on different mediums on their car stereos and somewhere else so there used to be different equalizer but nowadays when you have mobile phones so you have to adopt how to make your voice heard in a very good and rich quality so you have to always keep on evolving also with the technology okay so our audio book is almost recorded whatever is recorded here is read from the book and this is an audio book but it is yet not bounced it is not in the format which we call like mp3 or wave file so what we are going to do sorry for the burp any guesses uh we are going to bounce it yeah so in in logic we call it bounce in the garage band we don't call it bounce we call it share so you go it to share and i don't know if there is other way of doing it but even i figured it out this somehow you call it share and then you name it something otherwise it will give you a automatically generated name and you place it somewhere where you can recover it from later on easily let's put it here in document or something and we will click this since we have selected the area otherwise it keeps on in in most of these uh, apple computers it keeps on recording until it stops listening any voice from the audio file or your midi files so better to put markers some some dos has markers but in logic and garageband we have this uh, cycle cycle area we call it cycle select region so okay let's give it some good quality no it is well this medium is okay it's okay 
but when you want good quality then why not right let's let's put in some good quality and good quality of M mp3 so it will bounce it see it also calls it bounce then it will normalize it and then it will convert to mp3 and it will save it on the on the location which we have saved it okay it will ask me to save the to uh, save the project so i will say yes sixth sense audio book right this management should also be there otherwise you will you will lose record when you have to record so many um, um, audios like that you will lose the record so better to name them properly and arrange them properly i'm very quite bad at it but i try to be a little managed let's listen to this what we have recorded it is very much audible and nicely recorded okay oh, okay and uh, now what we will do yeah that was the purpose of the video it is solved that's how you make an audiobook okay and uh, we can we have to place it somewhere or make a video or something or if you have to send it to someone through some uh, external device like a pen drive usb drive or something or, or you want to mail it to someone you can place it to the desktop and later on you can send it to someone and please mention like give it a good name not this i'll keep this data of time and uh, date that is okay but i'll keep this uh, as a sixth sense Now you can upload it on some, uh, there, there are many website uh, where you can upload your audios. It is not music. It is not, uh, not a rap, nothing it is. It is just an audio which I narrated and uh, that's how it is. Now we have just recorded an audio book. Now we can we can further think of how to make it uh, very presentable. Hmm. So I think I should conclude this video now because uh, the purpose is solved. I shared my document also. I recorded as an audiobook and let keep this video very focused on how to record an audiobook. I have shared a lot of experiences in between but that's how you communicate i mean i'm not here as a salesman i'm not here getting any good revenue there's no paid promotion or something i just wanted to share my thoughts and want some good feedback from others also right music is one way of conveying your emotions but what is inside you are sad you will convey sadness first be happy about things and you'll think being happy for what a lot of things figure it out don't give me that sadness i'll be sad i'm also in the same world i'm coexisting with you so don't share your sadness just figure out good things share good things what you have learned from others don't hesitate to share your good things right and also it helps you good in communication sometimes you understand so many things see 
you heard what i said in that uh, you heard what i wrote in that sixth sense right i don't know what you understand from that but uh, i tried to convey it through words with some uh, physical uh, formulas explanations relating to other theories also i uh, related with the gravitational force and still we have a lot of debate to talk about it that what is sixth sense sometimes what happens when you think too much you know and you you snap your foot from the table somewhere and you or, or accidentally you feel like i'm very clumsy you break something or something so what it is it is the earth's gravitational pull that is keeping everything in place right so it is the gravity that brings you back to this world you, sometimes you can talk about universe man you know it's a big thing you can look it through the telescope you can look into the whole universe planets we can never reach you can actually see them but uh, are you on the earth i have also written some song and it, it got really appreciated on my youtube channel already am i on the earth go check it out on my youtube channel i'll share the link below it's a very satisfying satisfying song to listen and uh, one of my uh, few songs that i have written in english language it was previously it was a poetry and then i uh, recorded it as a song and it makes very much sense man so are you on the earth you actually think a lot of things your brain has no limitations human everything nature it is it is you can appreciate it with words or without words you can take a, like years of years but you won't be able to explain in words to appreciate what is the gift of nature a lot of things these are beautiful uh, see this this is a beautiful uh, seashore i have not seen this kind of a seashore in india honestly speaking who is to blame we are we have to blame we don't have any water treatment system yet we still uh, in the bigger cities of our country we still dump our waste into the sea sometimes it comes back from the sea so who are you fighting with man just go with the harmony of the universe that is the actual natural timing natural i told you no that is a natural clock don't stick to this thing you you know what is the definition of one second uh, i'll if you know i won't speak much about it not too much of gyan if you know what is the definition of one second comment it below and i will also know who are very very active listeners because out of those five senses i tell you which is the weakest sense nowadays we have is it sight no we are viewing everything is it to smell no we like to smell everything is it uh, taste no we are a foodie we like tasty food is it touch no we are very curious to touch things whatever we see what it is it is the ears we are we do selective listening our attention span is very very slow we don't want to listen why but if you are listening me that means i am developing some trust on you and uh, i will also develop some trust from you otherwise i'll 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 put this videos in a different forum not on a open platform like youtube where everybody even if he's eligible qualified or not he can just view my video and give it a, a like or unlike i'm not here to take their likes and unlikes i have a million things to do for me to keep me entertained i don't have to watch that but my childhood was awesome because there were entertaining people out there there were very brilliant people out there 
yeah, even sadness poverty and some social economic all problems were there then also but they were very strong people they made our childhood awesome so getting my point so we have to be awesome we have so so when we look back to ourselves we should appreciate man that's the appreciate thing if we will take some time to look back and that happens you sometimes feel that what you have what we have done so speak what would you would like to listen away don't give what you cannot take in other spiritual sayings is the same way what i'm trying to convey whatever sense you understand things just uh, i just tried to convey what six senses so most of the times when i feel very excited since i told you i get uh, this anxiety issues so when i get like uh, oh man i have done such a very brilliant work then all of a sudden i get a um a, a bruise or something see i'll show you if it is visible it is sealed but now then i i keep on getting some bruises and uh, that is what that is the gravity the the gravitational pull of the things even uh, even if you have studied you, you can study this uh, newton gravitational law not the gravity law the gravitational law which is about the two objects r1 and r2 that even there are two objects be it this this is a hard hard solid straight nahi hai this is the hard disk the or traditional one external hard disk even and this is my air conditioner remote so even these two objects are interacting with each other with some gravitational pull and uh, repulsion you know though there are some magnets there but be it magnet or not if there is a matter there will be some forces interacting weaker or stronger <sighs> so what i think that uh, that's how the sixth sense is somewhere there it is existing to existing and we can uh, even even we are what we are i started thinking myself as a as a biological material as a genetical material to um bones and blood and organs and minerals electric signals human body is amazing when you talk about in the natural science biology i talked to some medical doctor who must have studied it so whatever you are studying guys just study it with passion and uh, learn so that you can teach it some day don't learn to just uh, earn money it sometimes you know money money won't help you money is very important but uh, it won't help you uh, with every situation since uh, and i also believe in that uh, this copyright thing some people don't even understand what is the meaning of copyright and they keep on talking too much about it copyright uh, it's a, it's a although a different topic but since i got this copyright on my name that means um, that it is safe it is my on my name now i can think beyond that i want to share that knowledge with you so i'm sharing it that what i have written in it that uh, six sense why it cannot be gravity Hmm. Not gravity, I told you. Because if some astronaut, we are talking about some astronaut out there in outer space, so there is no gravity. That means his sixth sense is gone. No, I mean it is gravitational pull. It is something else. It's a different concept. If you study it, we study it. We will discuss it later on. But there, I said it, and let's conclude this video. Focus. on the audio book so we have already recorded it and by so far i'm pretty sure that you have learned how to record your 
audios on Mac and those computers. We will talk about uh, Windows computers later on. Let's see if I'll get some Windows computer in coming um, coming time. Let's see what we can do. But uh, I have the this thing available to me. So best I can do that what I'm doing. Right. So let's conclude the video. This was really nice talking to all of you guys. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for listening to me. And thank you for supporting. And yeah, if you like it, like the video. So maybe somewhere comments have been disabled because. But if the comments are uh, open, so put some good healthy discussions. I don't want that. Uh, that the bots commenting, right? I want some organic stuff. Few people commenting, few people watching, but organic. I want real people to watch my videos and those bots. And this is not just Gyan. I want some discussion. And if it is not the right platform, I'll find some good platform, sure. And I think that this knowledge will benefit us somewhere, somehow. Because there's there's an uh, inferiority complex in most of us that who have not seen money, who have not seen, who have not got the that that much respect in their life, who have not got the acknowledgement of what they have did in their life, or their intellectual work got stolen or something happened to them. So there must be reasons. I have empathy with them, but uh, now what uh, what we can do that to just come up with some positive energy that, that should help each other, right? There, there must be some, it's a round world, you know? I am sure gone are those days when people used to think Earth is flat. It's a, it's a beautiful planet, which is the only home and it's not so small. It's a big, don't be greedy. And we are, we are all here in the same situation. Okay. And uh, this is not fiction. You are already witnessing what is happening. And when you will look it into with the perspective of science, you will get that we are, it is the reflection of what we are doing. Hmm? It is the echo of our own voice. It is spiritually we call it it is karma what we are doing okay so just contribute to good things so maybe it will be considered in a good manner and technology man don't don't be always complaining technology is it's just a machine it can fail anytime but if it is working then then it's a good thing just uh, Give a big thumbs up to the creator of this uh, this software, the creator of this uh, this hardware, who has whosoever created it, so that today I, I can convey my message to all of you, right? So I won't do the cliche thing, spread love, spread music today, but uh, yeah, stay safe, don't spread, don't spread anything, <laughs> but. Just, I, I, I think you must have learned and, uh, it was a very informative session that how you can uh, record your vocals in your home studio and uh, record good things, good stories, which are inspirational, which are informative, which are beyond the basic roti kapada makan that uh, food, shelter, sex and clothing beyond that above those five senses what you can think there you are talking some something unique what i think and we are very privileged that we are able to think on these topics today We are not brainwashed. We are brainwashing ourselves, whatever content we are watching. So 
look for good content it it is not like uh, like banning one website that's what we had to do that we did with tiktok because the content all all the content was all about just hurting yourself i've seen some very disturbing videos so it is not about the teens of my country it is it is worldwide man and i met some very very talented people out there for i had some fonder friends and they are very talented very intellectual they are not all like the same so i still hope that uh, uh, we will make this this place a very better place and the problem i have shared i'm sure it it must be some problem of some other countries also developing countries uh, and how it will become developing it was very hurting i heard in some news some 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 uh, researcher he said that uh, we did not consider india as a developing country because we are going towards superstition don't go towards superstition just believe in yourself and whatever you believe may find some scientific facts on it and then explain to others and when others says yeah i i think it is uh, acceptable then that it is sorted man there's no point of looking answers here and there be happy in yourself and uh, take care of your health because you you know since i when i started talking what i was feeling what i am doing right now and uh, let's let's make one more and i will conclude the video it's all panic problem pandemic it is for uh, for all if everyone it's not like you, let's move to mars in earth is in trouble or something you cannot do that i'm sure you cannot do that so so i guess uh, this it was a very productive session and we will conclude it it is almost morning and uh, morning here in india and uh, have a great day and uh, i will be getting bad news and i'll i probably take some rest now no and uh, i'll catch you in some next session which what i think that uh, should be taught and shared with you maybe with the, there some some students are interested in uh, attending the lectures with me and if they are not still i will make solo uh, tutorial sessions like this uh, there's no problem for me i just want to do what i i feel like i'm very happy to this thing this thing makes me happy so looking back now I'm very sleepy. Yeah. So okay. Have a great time, and uh, share your thoughts on Sixth Sense. What you used to think about Sixth Sense, and uh, there are, I'm sure there are many. It's it's a it's a scope. It's a very large scope to talk about it, and just share your thoughts, and uh, make your own audio books about it. Make it make it talkable, and no more like a super a supernatural or. Uh, some some unbelievable but make it facts you know what do you think about my explanation and my perspective on the i'm not enforcing my thoughts on you that this is six sense accepted thing but uh, if you agree with me that's that's a, that's a that's a good handshake man nice because it it took me 
several times. It, it took me a long time to figure it out what it could be. Sometimes you you have you seen that some most of the accidents they happen because of the chemical imbalances between your heads. Even this uh, brain has some chemicals in them, and that is also related to the gravitational pull with the with the land with the earth and uh, it, it it happens i think right it's a it is debatable it is it's a large scope i already told you we can talk about it we can talk a lot about it let's let's talk sometime and uh, if you like the video please give it a like thumbs up and uh, share with some intellectual people with you who like to uh, talk about some some things like this and uh, yeah that what do you think about my incident because it just i do got it remembered that how it is a revolution the there was a time when there was a green revolution when people were growing trees and now we are again cutting it stupidly and now what we think that uh, what we think about going digitally we are not able to go totally digitally it is not reliable what i think but uh, it, it will take some time and i'm sure we will figure out some some way how to save trees because it was we our ancestors only who cut those trees and uh, then we learned that it is not ethical then we grew more trees I'm talking about the human history of human that way i'm i'm tell, trying to tell you that we we grew trees again now what we think about it are we using the efficient technology how efficient it is how safe it is nowadays people are talking about the wireless technology that it is harmful for some uh, some other way of the people so don't not be in in misconception don't assume things don't hunt meanings talk scientifically and if you can prove please prove i try to make my point with some the formulas the theories which were proven earlier in 18th uh, 19th century and there must be some some geographical changes by that time but uh, since it got a universe it it was declared as a universal law that that means something man you can be next newton you can be next uh, the bigger scientist than him so don't be afraid to share your thoughts right ah uh, what's that wish me luck and uh, give me some love and uh, i will keep making more videos for you guys right a big hug to all of you and uh, just cheer up for god